Hi everyone, it's James in Japan. It is January 14th, 2020. I just got this in the mail. It is a postcard from Hilgo Police. Don't worry, I'm not in trouble. It says, Unten Menkyo Sho Koshin no Oshirase, which means Notice of Driver's License Renewal. I need to take this card with my current valid Japanese driver's license and the payment to the Akashi Driver's License Renewal Center. I blocked up my personal information. So this video is about the process. I won't be going there today, but I think I'll try to go there on Thursday. And I'll bring my GoPro camera and record the process of how I and others get their driver's license. Hopefully I don't get into trouble. Anyway, let's take a look at this card. Down here is where you peel. like this. Here in Japan, if you're an excellent driver, you'll get this gold stripe. Mine was taken away because I got a ticket five years ago. Mine is blue, but I'm due to get a gold one this time. Let's take a look at the components of this card. In the top row is my driver's license number. And here is the renewal period. Neiwa 2, which is 2020 now, from January 21st until March 23rd. In number two, this means that I'm a good driver and I have to attend a 30 minute lecture. This is a safety driving lecture and this means I'm getting my gold stripe back. Yay! And it lasts for five years. So this means that my insurance will be lower. Yeah! This means I'm a good driver and this is the fee. I have to pay 2,500 yen for the renewal and 500 yen for the lecture for a total of 3,000 yen. And some other information that you need. Okay, and you can get your driver's license renewed between 10 and 11 in the morning or 2 and 3 in the afternoon. And let's look at the back. In the back, it tells you the identification that you need to bring. That's it for now. We'll see you at the Akashi Driver's License Renewal Center. Good morning, everyone. Today is the day to renew my driver's license. This is the card that they sent me. This is what I need to bring. 3,000 yen and a boru pen, which means ballpoint pen, and an inkan. That is a family seal. It looks like this. Well, first of all, this is the ballpoint pen. And here is my seal. Okay. You have a little ink pad and the actual hunkel. And you need to bring your driver's license. This is my driver's license. I've put some green paper on it to protect my privacy. This area is where my name is printed. And this area is my date of birth. And this is my address. And this blue strip indicates that I had a ticket before five years ago. My driver's license is due to expire on March 21st, 2020. This is the old date, Heisei 32. It was corrected to Reiwa 2. These are the type of vehicles I can drive. And here is my driver's license number. And that's an old photo of me. Anyway, I'm off to the driving center. See you there. So I'm back from the license renewal center. You're looking at my new driver's license. I've got a gold stripe and it's for five years. Yahoo! Anyway, I had a problem inside the center. Can you guess what it was? Okay, I'll tell you. It was my GoPro. They caught me recording. I had it on a neck strap. So as I walked in, it was recording the inside. There weren't many people there, and there were six stations. 
So I had to go to my left, starting at station number one. I had to take out my notice card and my driver's license and present it to station number one. There, a lady spotted my camera and told me to turn it off. And of course, I pretended that I forgot to turn it off. So I did in front of her, kind of. There she gave me a form and a card to fill out. The form consisted of yes or no questions in Japanese. If you're going there yourself, you need to bring someone who is Japanese, someone who can translate the literature for you. The form was about your health in the last five years. It was a yes or no. Of course, I selected no for all of them. And for the card, it had my driver's license information. All I had to do was print my name and write my birth date. Then I went to station number two to pay. Then I went to station number three for an eye exam. Okay, so there's a little machine that you have to input four digits, two sets of four digit numbers. So you would type in whatever, one, 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 two, three, four, then press Kakuning and then press a different number and then a different set, nine, five, three, two, and Kakuning. And then this would come out. And together with your documentation, you would have your eye examined, okay? And then you would pass it to the person sitting there. You would look into this machine and you'll see C's, C's like this. You have to know where the opening is. Where's the opening? Right over here. So that would be me, which means right. You see the letter C? You would have to tell the operator whether it was right, left, up or down. This would be Migi, which means right. How about this way? You would say Ue, that means up. This way? Hidari, left. Shita, down. And the letters would get smaller and smaller, but it's really quick, okay? Then he'll mark something and give you the forms. Then you would go to number four. At station number four, they'll ask you if you change your address or not. In my case, no. Then that person told me to go to station number five to take my photo. There are two lines. One is for A and one is for B. For line A, that's for people who are getting gold stripes. For line B, the longer line, that is for people who had violations. They have a blue stripe. Anyway, I got my photo taken and they took my driver's license at that point. Then I had to go upstairs for a lecture for 30 minutes. The photographer gave me a pink slip with a seat number and I had to write my name and stamp it with my inkon. So I went upstairs, I watched the video and just listened to a retired policeman talk about safety. And then after that, that was about 30 minutes, I went downstairs to station number six. I waited for my number to be called and I got my driver's license and that was it. No, not exactly. Now here's the problem at station number three, a policeman came up to me just before inputting four digits. A police, uh, two police came up to me and said, what's that around your neck? And I said, uh, it's a GoPro in Japanese. And they said, well, is that a camera? I said, yes, it's a camera. And I acted dumb. The person said, you can't record in here. Oh, I said, really? I, I, it did, I, it's not recording. It's off. It was off actually. Just the power was on. And then I, as I took it off, he could see the power on, but it wasn't recording. The policeman said, put it away. I said, okay. So I, I started putting it in my pocket and then there was a female police officer standing next to me and she said, put it in your bag, deep in your bag. So I opened my bag and I said, I'll put it here. She said, deeper. <laughs> I said, okay, deeper. I said, what about this neck holder? Can I just leave it on? Yes, you can leave it on. They gave me a lecture saying that you can't record in here with any kind of camera. I said, I'm very sorry. I said, I'm very sorry. I didn't know that. I'm very sorry. So that was the end of that. But at station number six, right after I got my driver's license, two ladies who weren't police officers came up to me and said, were you recording when you first came in? I said, I think so. I just left it on. I said that in Japanese. And they said, we'd like to see the footage. And I said, sure. Okay, no problem. I had to act dumb. And hopefully I could just delete, delete, delete everything <laughs> while doing that. So I asked them, uh, what's the problem? I, I, I was just recording from my home to this place. I just forgot. I forgot it was on. I said, the old man told me to turn it off. One of them said, you mean the police officer? Yes, him. So it's, it's, it's in my pocket. It's nice and hot. They didn't understand that. So I took it out and I turned it on and I started deleting everything. And I said, this is no 
media. Mokeshta, which means I've already erased it. It's gone. I did my best to sound apologetic. They said it was a crime to record in here. I said, I'm very sorry. I didn't know that. Uh, I was just recording. One of them asked me, is it a drive recorder? In Japan, they call it a drive recorder. And I said, yes, exactly. Just a drive recorder. It's a GoPro. It's very famous. I just use it when I go out. That's it. And they looked at each other and thought, okay, maybe he's innocent. He didn't know, okay. Okay, yeah, I said, I'm very, very sorry. And then I left. So there's no footage. Anyway, that was my experience. Just don't record inside a police station. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe to my channel. Bye, everyone.